One of the most basic and powerful features of Accordance is the Add Parallel button, which can be found near the top right of any pane with a biblical text. The Add Parallel button allows you to place in parallel with your first text any other Bible, commentary, study Bible, and basically anything organized by chapter and verse. Let's say, for instance, you simply want to add translator notes next to the text of a Bible to replicate in accordance a basic print reference Bible. Simply click the Add Parallel button and scroll down to Reference Tools. Notice that these submenus will mirror the folders in your library pane, but only list the tools that are organized by chapter and verse. Choose the Translator Notes submenu and select the notes you're looking for. Now both the text and the translator notes will scroll in parallel. Want to add more? Using the same method, the Add Parallel button will allow you to add commentaries, study Bibles, your own user notes, and much more. The Add Parallel button can also be used to digitally mimic academic texts such as the 28th edition of the Nestle Elan Greek New Testament. After opening the Nestle Elan 28th edition, go to Add Parallel, Reference Tools, Apparatus, and add the Nestle Elan 28th edition apparatus. You can then go to Add Parallel, Reference Tools, Cross References, and add the Nestle Elan 28th edition cross references. You can rearrange these panes any way you like. The end result contains all the contents of the print version, but in a much more flexible arrangement that you can search with lightning fast speeds. Here's a bonus tip. If you're using a non-biblical text that's also organized by chapter and verse, such as Josephus's writings, Accordance will intelligently know which text can be placed side by side. In this case, we have a limited number of options, such as an English translation of Josephus. Don't forget that if you create a workspace with tools for a specific kind of study, and you want to use it later without having to set it up again, go to the File menu and choose Save to save your workspace as is. Then it will be quickly accessible in the future with your other workspaces.